What's going on everyone, Nick Corona here, and we are currently on this crazy road somewhere between Flagstaff and Sedona, Arizona. It is one of the most beautiful roads I have ever driven on, and we're gonna give you some awesome, well, you probably already saw it. Let me know if you like this format. I'm gonna just show you guys the awesome edited version, and then I'm gonna take you along and see how I made it. And right now, um, we found kind of a touristy spot, but then, I went off to the side and this road and everything. It's just, it's so breathtaking. So we're at about a hundred degrees right now and hundred degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm hoping that's not, that's really the cusp of what I've found acceptable. Like when I go much over hundreds, when you start having some serious heating issues, the view from here is just breathtaking. This reminds me of like Big Sur in California. Um, not quite as intense with the ocean, but it's just like a whole different level of intensity. All right, cool. Let's do it. I'm in a good spot. That looks cool. Just don't move. A lot of wind up here. Also, cool. Wow, there's a lot of wind. Cool. All right, so I'm just gonna line up a nice shot. It's windy. Won't have a whole lot of tries at this. Cool. Hopefully that looks good. And I'm just gonna hold this straight for a while. Just to make sure that the shot's awesome. I think it would have been cooler, I'm just thinking right now, if this was like catching the mountain a little bit more. So, I'm gonna do it again. What's going on everyone and welcome to the middle of nowhere. guys um i was gonna make this be longer than it was it's 100 degrees out it's actually currently 94 right here my first battery kind of swelled up a little bit on the dji they're made to swell up a little bit they have a little bit of room for expansion 
but my iPhone just overheated. And luckily my drone's right here so I don't have to rely on the return to home feature. It is still technically recording and it could fly, but it really sucks obviously without the app and not being able to see. So I'm gonna have to bring her in, put my phone in front of the air conditioning. And then there is one more super beautiful spot I wanna bring you guys to. Guess I'll try and just get a little bit of B-roll quality footage right here. This is kind of fun to me. This reminds me of a uh, drone flying back in the day without the controller and the screen and you just had your thumbs and looking at the drone and checking out the footage afterwards and just hoping you got cool shots. People can't even imagine that nowadays. I guess the biggest bummer to fly in this way is if there's some kind of heat warning or something crazy, I only have whatever the controller is going to show me. And you know, when you have your phone hooked up, you just, you get a lot of extra info. Just a guy in his drone chilling on a mountain, you know, on a beautiful day, everything can hang except for the iPhone. Everyone's always worried about the drone overheating. And I mean, you might damage a battery, but the iPhones is what you really got to worry about. I put it in my pocket for a few minutes and the screen came back on. Oh sweet, I got my drone screen back. Cool. What's up? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you loved the video. I am so so glad we didn't lose DJI Mavic 2 number 2 on the mountain today and the return to home feature worked wonderfully as it should but for a moment I felt just like we were back in Atlanta. It's so beautiful out here. Every one of my batteries swelled up though. You know, it's funny because earlier when I was flying with my first two batteries, it was about 98 degrees and they both swelled up and they're still shrinking. And I just flew and it's like 105 degrees and that battery did better. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Either way, flying in this weather is not good for your drone and losing it was almost scary, but you never know when you're gonna lose your drone. And that's why I, you know don't always consider the health of the battery either way i hope it was worth the footage and i hope you all had a good time till next time peace Bye.